Okay, this is going to be my first video of uh, me trying to use a stationary camera. Normally I hold the uh, camera in one hand and if I'm keying a mic or doing something else I'm doing that in the other hand and my hands are full with that. But um, I'm going to try to show you how um, at least I take apart a Tram D201A 40 channel channel selector. That's the selector already unsoldered. Hopefully you can get a good look at that. If you don't know how to unsolder, these um, circuit boards are very delicate. Let me see if I can grab one. All right, that's one. These um, traces on the circuit board right here are very delicate. And if you're not good at uh, soldering and unsoldering, I suggest you uh, leave that alone and, and let somebody who's good at soldering do that. So anyway, once you get it unsoldered and out, you're going to have um, this guy here. And the one thing I found out the hard way that I just saw on Mike's video after I had done it and tried to look, uh, look it up. Mike uh, Radio has a new video on it too, but uh, I'm doing my version. Is that when you take it apart that this guy the uh, metal rod or shaft going through pulled out and inside that white piece is two small ball bearings and two small springs and one spring not one ball bearing hit me in the eye and the other one both of them went flying and uh, it took me forever to find them and get them back in which wasn't easy either I used the end of a pen to uh, the wrong end of a pin to open in to kind of push the ball bearings because that kind of held the ball bearing in place and kind of pushed them back in to get in there but that was quite a project so since I learned that the hard way I looked in my little bag of tricks and um, I got this um, collar here that's actually off a uh, broken um, channel number um, it's just the inside of that there and um, you can use the whole thing but since I had a broken one what I do now so I've done about five of these already so I don't know if that makes me an expert now so I put that uh, locking collar right on the bottom of the shaft there and screw it down and that's gonna keep this uh, shaft from sliding out and my ball bearings and my springs going pow all over the place so now I'm going to unscrew the um, screws in it maybe I should have took them loose earlier but this is a trial video we'll see how it goes but actually it's pretty easy uh, to take the channel selector apart and that's why I'm making this video but make sure you got um, aware of that uh, if that shaft goes forward and that white piece sticks out the um, ball bearings and springs are gonna um, pop and those ball bearings and springs are pretty small okay once you get the screws out it's very easy for this to come to loose what I try to do is keep them in order that way uh, it's pretty easy to reassemble it you got the uh, back cover then you got the first disc notice this is single sided disc it's only traces on one side and the other side is blank so that goes next and then you have this finger stop Actually, I think all fingers are the same. So even if you mix them up, they go in the same way or the same fingers. But anyway, I like to keep an order. And then there's another finger stop. These go back to back. So when they're in correctly, it 
they are back to back like that with both the uh, fingers facing outward but for now I'm going to just lay them down here then this number two it's only two discs in this come on out this number two here now this one is a dual sided disc so it is important um, which way it goes in so bear that in mind and last is the, uh, another uh, finger and then you have the um, the gear with the uh, ball bearing internally so that's how easy it is to take apart a tram d201 a channel selector and again except for the ball bearings that are internal to this and like I say I lock them in with this um, collar at the bottom of here you can use this whole thing to lock it in but since I had a broken one I just used that piece and long as you uh, know which way this guy goes back in it's pretty easy to um, reassemble this guy um, since it's keyed here you don't have to worry about um, and the disc are keyed you don't have to worry about which way um, to put the keys and, and or for them to line up just make sure you put them in the right order see the ridges here at the bottom just make sure you get the ridges down like that and then this one and notice this side um, is more circular and this one has a lot more uh, stuff on it this um, side circular side here not the mosaic side it goes um, toward the front and slide it down then the second finger should have showed them how to clean them while I got them out but I think Mike's video did one on that a fiber brush to clean out these discs here does a really good job these aren't too bad or worn actually this is the fifth one I did and none of mine have been worn so I don't know if that's luck or just the way they is but um, this is the back to back with these fingers facing out and then last this this is gonna go toward the fingers and last your cover did I let it go? yep And also notice when you have it right that these aren't perfectly lined up going straight across that the front and back ones are lower and the center one is higher and if you notice it on the um, board too that the um, center one is higher and the uh, front and back one are lower so you know that's right it should line up and just put your screws back in and tighten it down and that's it for the assembly and disassembly of the channel selector again the only gotchas is keep them in order remember that front disc uh, is two-sided 
so you got to remember which side it uh, goes and also um, lock down them springs or that gear so it doesn't pop out at you again I cleaned them all mine with a fiber brush it worked really good I learned that trick from Mike's video that wasn't mine but um, not trying to reinvent the wheel and Mike has some pretty good videos I just thought I would add to it that um, it's not hard to take apart or put back together so that's gonna be it for my um, Tram D201A black channel selector. Bye!